Hello, hi guys, it's Sinamga4 here with another unboxing and this time we've got the Samsung 840 Pro Series Solid State Drive. I've picked this up here in the UK for £339 and in the States you can pick it up for $420. As ever, links will be down in the description down below if you're after one and as you can see this is a 512GB variant. This is my very first solid state drive and the reason why I'm moving away from traditional hard disk based drives, at least for my boot disk, is purely because I'm doing a lot of video recording and editing those large video files down and moving them around takes a bit of time so hopefully with a solid state drive it should decrease the amount of time I'm waiting around. Now the reason why I chose a Samsung SSD is purely because Samsung is one of the only drive makers out there that fully designed, built and configured these units from the ground up so all the components inside are built by Samsung, it's designed by Samsung, all the software firmware is written by Samsung so you know you're getting the best possible performance from all the components inside and they're speaking to each other in the best possible way because it's all done in-house and the reason I went for the 840 Pro series and not the 840 or even the 840 Evo series which is cheaper here in the UK at 250 odd pounds is purely because the 840 Pro incorporates 2-bit Purcell MLC NAND flash memory which is an older type of technology but it is more robust and reliable than the newer TLC based NAND flash memory as well as having the same 3 core MDX controller and as you can see via the box it has a five year limited warranty but the main reason being the random input output operations per second on this 512 gigabyte drive is 100,000 input output operations per second so the times I'm waiting around for those large files to be moved around is going to be lower and obviously other advantages from moving from a, a hard disk based drive to a solid state drive because there are no moving parts on a solid state drive obviously it's lower in power consumption and obviously only having the 2.5 inch form factor it's only seven millimeters thick as well so if i can get out what's underneath here nothing else there we'll have a look at the drive in just one second you've got the samsung solid state drive installation guide and it looks like we have the laptop version here so let's have a look at this quickly and all you simply do is plug it in use the software to migrate and clone your existing drive then you take your old one out and we do have installation for desktop pcs along the back here where you pretty much do the same thing where you do a bios setup as well otherwise it may not pick up the drive so that's that you've also got the samsung solid state drive warranty statement and blurb that you can read when you're bored we'll leave that there and of course you've got the samsung solid state drive one-stop install navigation i think they used to call this the magic uh, magician software where it clones your drive that'll come in handy and of course we have here the samsung ssd activated stickers to go on the front of your case if you want to show off you've got an ssd inside and if we have a look at the solid state drive itself nothing else there very small and light here samsung solid state drive printed smack bang in the middle of the unit itself you've got orange square along the bottom feels very very light i am almost worried if there's anything inside there to be fair you've got screw holes four screw holes two on this side and two along the other you've got standard sata uh, power and data connectors here capable of six gigabytes a second but backwards compatible with SATA 3 as well and on the underside you can see the drive capacity as well as the serial numbers and of course a fallback encryption key just in case you forget your password if you have encrypted the drive as well as four additional screw holes used to mount the drive if you need them there we go folks that's been an unboxing of the samsung 840 pro solid state drive i'll see if you can put some comparisons together see how this drive affects loading up of a pc launching applications in comparison to a traditional hard disk based drive as ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and a lot what you saw and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's just down there it doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time